Tens of thousands of Ontario's unionized education workers could hit the picket lines by Friday as the union who represents them issues a potential five day strike notice. This as talks resume today between the Ford government and the union. Talks are currently underway as both QP and government negotiators come back to the bargaining table with a mediator and school board representatives, all meeting at the Sheraton Hotel downtown Toronto. It comes as the union that represents about 55,000 Ontario education workers, including custodians, early childhood educators and educational assistants, issues a five-day strike notice ahead of scheduled talks originally set for this Tuesday. Education Minister Stephen Lecce says in a statement, the Ford government is not not giving up on a deal that protects in-person learning for kids. His statement reads in part, quote, we have asked QP to meet us back at the table today and hope that they budge from their demand for a nearly 50% increase in compensation, which they have so far refused to do. The province has offered a 2% pay hike a year for workers making less than $40,000 and 1.25% for all others. QP, however, is looking for annual salary increases of 11.7%. Laura Walton, the president of the Ontario School Board Council of Unions, says the government could easily afford to give workers what they seek, given the Ford government's $2.1 billion surplus. With kids being sent home from school because there are not enough staff available and so many education workers relying on food banks, it's sad that we're being told that the pressure of a potential strike is what is needed to make the Ford government take our negotiations seriously. Meantime, Lecce goes on to say that if tens of thousands of education workers move ahead with strike action, the government will, quote, act to keep students in class so they can continue to catch up. Three school boards have confirmed they will close schools if education workers go on full strike. The latest is the Toronto Catholic District School Board, which announced the news this afternoon. Their statement reads in part, quote, to ensure the health, welfare and safety of our students and staff, all TCDSB schools will be closed starting Friday, November 4th, if there's a full withdrawal of services by QP. QP has said it will update its members after today's meeting. If all goes well, both sides could potentially strike a deal tonight. However, negotiations between both sides is expected to take place again on Tuesday. For City News, I'm Rianne Campbell.